Bob White here. This is my attempt this year to try to put in a garden. And uh, the last few years I've been so overwhelmed with weeds, I decided to do something different. And I rototilled and uh, chopped it all down. <coughs> but what happened was the seed bed for all the weeds was so dramatic that <coughs> everything come up in. So using hose and pulling weeds and stuff, tried to, tried to do it. But uh, then we just got overwhelmed with rain. We've had so much rain, it's just everything I put in the ground rotted. I got all the corn I put in. I've got one, I've got one, uh, one seed that didn't drown. So apparently, apparently the uh, one, uh, one corn plant. So apparently uh, all the rest of them got rotted in the ground. We had so much rain. But what I'm doing is right now is I'm using this uh, six mil plastic and I had some uh, some uh, polycarbonate panels from years ago when I worked at a company that was throwing them out. And I use these clear polycarbonate things to solarize the soil. And this, this works uh, dramatically. It, it kills everything. I mean, it kills every weed and seed and, and I guess it kills the bugs too. And it does it in a real short time. I just moved this on today up to the green part here. But uh, it'll, it'll kill everything in about a day uh, of good strong sunshine like I have right now. So I just uh, lay this stuff down and mush it down. Try to keep the keep the edges sealed so the air the cooling air doesn't get to it and it builds up a temperature. But this this these I just moved yesterday, and uh, I missed a few spots so I got to move it. But uh, like I say, it, it dramatically kills the stuff. And the other issue we had we've had so much rain that when rain accumulates and stays on top of the of the plastic, it keeps it cool. So it doesn't really get up to temperature to do the killing. So I had to come out here and drain all the water off that was pooling up on it. And, uh, and then try to keep it weighted down to where the cooling air can't come up underneath it. And uh, allow it to stay alive. So once it gets up, I'm not sure what the temperature is, but once it gets up to a certain temperature, it, the plants cannot survive. Uh, I bought this... Uh, I bought this plastic, it's uh, six mil, and I bought the 10 foot, no, let's see, I got it right here. I got it at the, I got it at Lowe's, it's 10 foot by 100 foot, 10 foot wide by 100 foot. So I ran it out 100 foot, cut it off because this is how long the gar my garden was and then this I used the remainder here and then I just rotate it over but here I've got the, the polycarbonate panels help me out down here in my other garden area that I'm trying to get going I've been well first I rototilled first I rototilled the the whole area that has the <laughs> It has these buttercups in it, and as you can see, the seed bed was so overwhelmed with seeds and everything that everything started up. So I laid down this plastic, and that solarization. I get on my barbed wire here, or electric fence. Uh, this has been. Now we haven't had strong sunlight. In the last couple of few days, almost the last week, because it's rained so much. But in any case, the few days we had, it smothered it, and it he got it hot enough. There's not, I don't see a single weed seed of any kind growing where it got where it got heated up. A few spots I missed, and I tried to wait. I waited it down with some T posts and stuff, but I had to find out where it was up in the air and uh, 
See, this was up in the air, and it had an air gap, so cooling air could get up underneath and cool it down. But I, this morning I drained the water off, and, and now it should be burning out. Hopefully it'll be burned out by probably tomorrow if we got to keep continue this sunlight. Well, I thought I was going to try something by putting in these pots, raising things in pots. Well, I rototilled. And I used the soil and I filled the pots and put all the seeds, all the weed seeds, right in with it. If I had a solarized first and used the sterilized soil to put in the pots, then I wouldn't have all this competing vegetation in these pots. The other thing that's happened with the so much rain, apparently it's washed all the nutrients, all the nutrients out. So when I put like these tomato plants, I put them down in the soil, and they're they're struggling. So they, although they didn't have any nutrition in the soil, apparently it was all depleted out. So anyway, I put some fertilizer on, some 13, 13, 13 fertilizer, just a little bit. And we'll see. Hopefully, I didn't burn it. That one looks pretty sick. So. It may have other issues in the soil. I'm not sure what's going on. But uh, in this particular one here, I've got I've got a I've got a tomato plant, two potato two potato plants, and another tomato plant. And I up above it, I'm, I uh, put what kind of tomatoes they are, so I know what they are. This line here is eventually, hopefully going to be for my apple orchards when they finally get going. Uh, these high intensity orchard, uh, apples when I can let them grow up and uh, tie them to these cords here and I use these these water pipes on top of T-posts and that way I can adjust the height and, and uh, also the the line up above I use I use uh, uh, baler twine because baler twine is pretty stout and I can tie it to it, and if I use it, if I break it, it's no big deal. I got lots and lots of it, and it works works out pretty good. And that way, I can clip to it. I use these little, I use these little uh, clips. I can get at uh, Walmart, you know, a couple hundred for not very much. And uh, so anyway, these these apple things, I put. Uh, uh, rooting hormone on the bottom. Now we had some killing frost real late and then it turned from killing frost to so much rain it overwhelmed everything. So anyway these got started and then they didn't go anywhere. They seem to be still alive but they're not thriving like they should. So all, all, but the, the wood the wood from these are the, are the water sprouts that I had cut off these other apple trees. And I just stuck them down. I put some rooting hormone on the on the end of it, and just stuck them in the dirt because the dirt was pretty. The dirt was pretty uh, fertile. But you can see how overwhelmed with the weeds it gets. So anyway, this whole this whole solarization thing is working out pretty good. I mean, it's uh, like sixty dollars for one of these rolls. Sixty dollars. Well, how many dollars am I spending in back-breaking labor, pulling these weeds and never getting anywhere? And uh, like I say, I, I've mowed this area several times, mowed it down, mowed it down. All that does is just cut the flowers off. It doesn't doesn't kill the seeds or the roots, and some of those roots are pretty substantial. But uh, once I the solarization starts, I just moved this over yesterday. Uh, from here to from here, I moved it over to there yesterday, and then we had a rainstorm, and it where the water pools up, it stays cool. So I had to drain the water off this morning. But but the rest of it, just uh, just the one day of partial sunshine we had, just the one day, killed off. It it killed off most of everything that's underneath. It gets up to a, whatever temperature it is underneath. One of these days I'll stick my thermometer under there and see what it reads. 
but uh, over here where it where I had it like I say I don't see a single weed I don't see any weeds at all so this uh, solarization thing seems to work and uh, since I got lots of sunshine here in the next week I'm gonna be moving this thing over and I'm gonna kill all those weeds even on the places I planted stuff I was planted up in the other garden nothing's coming up stuff rotted in the ground all the corn I planted only one seed come up so I'm just gonna kill it all start again and hopefully there's enough time in the year to where I can maybe have one harvest of some stuff and down here on the, these bales of round bales I planted some uh, plant some stuff in the uh, on the bales like I say with all the rain and everything it washed it all the nutrients out of the bales so I gave it some more gave it some more fertilizer uh, I got sunflowers planted in here right <laughs> if they ever if they ever survived the water I don't know but uh, anyway I got some squash plants and and uh, beets and carrots coming in there. Now in the second one over there, I, I tried, I put the seeds down and I put a layer of mulch over top of it thinking it was gonna come up through. Well, it didn't come up, it smothered it. So that didn't work. But uh, these uh, squash are seem to be doing pretty good. These are yellow squash. And uh, I see I got some carrots coming up and I got some beets coming up here. So uh, anyway, I was thinking that these, these bales would have a lot of nutrients in it. Well, the rain just washes it out, so they all they weren't getting enough nutrition. So they were turning yellow and not looking very good. So I had to give it some give it some fertilizer. So anyway, I just wanted to show what I'm up, what I'm up against and. Uh, when I'm up against the up against the elements is one thing, but when I'm up against the weeds, it is uh, overwhelming, and I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm just going to rotate these plastics over, and I'm going to kill every kill everything in the soil. I can replant later, but at least I'll have sterile soil when I put it into pots and stuff. I'll have sterilized, and it's very fertile soil. You can tell by how vigorously the weeds grow. So, anyway, it seems to be working out pretty good. In my other video, I maybe you wonder what these bags are along here. Well, this is an electric fence, and we've got a lot of deer here that just love to eat stuff in your garden. Well, apparently they think these bags are ghosts, or it, it spooks them, and so they haven't yet jumped the fence and got into my garden area. So, that'll be all. And... I'll see you next time. Enjoy your gardening.